It's Deborah Carr's first go at deer stalking, which is incredible because she is wife of the editor of the UK's top deer stalking magazine, Sporting Rifle. That doesn't mean he's going to give her the benefit of any doubt. The wind's wrong-handed as it is now, but we're going to skirt up the wind back of the forestry and there's a big open area so we're giving up the wind here to get into a suitable position to drop back into the forestry and see if there's a suitable stag in there. Debbie, do you agree with that? I do, absolutely. Do you That's... agree with everything he says? <laughs> <laughs> we will be especially popular with the foresters if we shoot a stag in one of the blocks of woodland. These animals are damaging this cash crop. It's a long walk in, but all we see is out of season. There's two hinds and calves there, just on the brow. But they, they keep looking back down into the quarry. But, uh, we can't do anything until they disappear. So do you reckon there might be something? There, there might be a stag with them, but we can't do anything until they've gone over that top. But if we get there and there isn't a stag with them, then uh, we've wasted quite a bit of time. How far are we from the stag? It can't be more than a couple of hundred yards. No, 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 no. But it's a couple of hundred yards over. Quite boggy difficult terrain. I mean, when, when they disappeared, we might go and have a look. On one of our stops, Peter explains what the well-dressed stalker is wearing this season. What, what, have, you, what have you got on today, Mr Carr? Uh, Black Islander gaiters. Best gaiters on the market, without a doubt. Yeah, without you, a doubt. Now, did, you, did these arrive free or did you pay for no, them? No, 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 no. Uh, actually, to be fair, these were free, but I've been wearing Black Islander gaiters since I was gamekeeping, so I've always stuck with them. And I think... In 15 years, I've had five pairs, so that I think that's testament to how good these are. All right. Um, boots. Yeah, Dana. These are actually yeah Dana um, special forces boots, uh, desert boots. But uh, this is not a desert. This is a bog. Exactly. But the Gore-Tex, but they're like slippers from brand new. You can wear, wear them straight away. You don't have to break them in. Great stuff. Now you are looking a lot like a kind of stalking version of Selfridges. What, tell me about your jacket. <laughs> uh, Hark Hitler, uh, jacket and trousers, uh, Pro Hunter. Uh, very, very good. Expensive? Uh, very expensive, but very, very good. Right. I think it's uh, buy once, buy right, really. Deer stalking can make you look impossibly glamorous and athletic. But when the weather comes in, the angle of the hill increases and the burn is just too wide to jump. Deer stalking can have the opposite effect. Peter has to learn to be a patient husband. Debs has to learn to be an understanding wife. We have had six hours on the hill when we descended to forestry and just around a corner we spot our first stag of the day. Debs has one of the shortest stalks in history and is onto the beast at 40 yards range. Please forgive the flinch of the cameraman. She brings it down cleanly. Please be happy with that. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, it's been a long day. But... We got there. Now, what it amazes me is you are married to Peter and you've never shot a stag before. Never yes. shot before. First one, yeah. Uh, is this something you want to do for a long time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's brilliant. Good yeah, excellent, good shot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of praise there, was that praise? Yeah, apart from dropping it in a bog. <laughs> I got him. After calling up help from Pete's pal Nick Latus, they load the carcass onto the tray on the back of the vehicle. Just time for Pete to say something nice to Debs. Well, well done, Deborah. Thank you. Good shot. Good teacher. Right answer. <laughs> right. And it's back off to continue the conversation at the larder.